haven't done this in a while. <laughs> you realize every time you're walking towards something, you do this. What? Like a dinosaur? Yeah. I don't think so. I'll watch the footage back. You'll see. Uh, do you rem do? You is this bringing back vibes? Do you remember? No, because this is a well lit room. This brings back okay. no vibes. Okay. Every house we've had is a cave. Go on. Two years ago, <laughs> less than two years ago. I don't want to think about it. We were sat <laughs> in our house that we were renting. Mm -hmm. Just like this with boxes all around us talking yeah. about why we were moving mm. and that we had bought our first house. And now we're moving again. Well, not moving. We've moved a... Well, I'm setting up a story. Oh, <laughs> I was like, we're not moving again. I'm not doing it again. You're not making me. I but won't. We, well, I wanted to lead into a, a line ah. where I was like, okay. we're leaving Texas. Oh. But now that you've... Oh. What do you, what do you want to say? That's what he wants to say. We've left mm. Texas. We've been gone. Where are we? Pennsylvania. We live in Pennsylvania now. That might seem like a shock to a lot of you because we've kept this pretty quiet here on YouTube. If you follow me on Twitch, you've been knowing about this for about a year. Um, we, I even did a stream boxing everything yeah. up in the game room. In fact, We've been in PA for a week, and really the only thing left in boxes now is my games. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So yeah, we moved again. <laughs> that's it. That's the video. Bye. See you later, fellas. Since we are in PA now, it'll be much easier for us to get to too many games, which is June 24th and 26th at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center. Just like right now in this video, he's not going to be there, and also... Logan's not gonna be there, but Kim and I will be there and I'll have a panel and signing times and we'll just hang out and buy some games and have a good time. So that's this month. It's in like two weeks. High five. Come see us. That's <laughs> terrifying. God, no. Oh my no. lord. Simon. Oh, you gremlin. There he goes. I'm making this video for a couple reasons. One, anytime I post anything on Twitter or make a stream about moving, everyone's like, you're moving, but you just moved, why? So I wanna talk about that, but also um, I just need a video. <laughs> I haven't made content in like a week. I need something. Yeah, we're very behind. Oh, uh -oh. God. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> On that note, sorry for the interruption. Um, I'm surrounded by boxes. Satisfy is right here. And Satisfy booked me for a sponsor two months ago when it's due today and I can't put it off any longer. To be fair, Satisfy is amazing and it was actually due last month and they keep pushing it back because they know that I'm moving. So I can't say thank you to Philip and Satisfy and the entire team enough. I'm gonna cue the sponsor and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the basement. Oh my God, it's the first sponsor in the new house. Satisfy! You know them, you definitely love them. And you're gonna love them even more because with the new code BEATEMUPS10, you can get 10% off anything store-wide. On top of that, they're already doing a Father's Day sale starting now through to the 21st of this month. Things like the awesome Rise Pads are already 25% off. So if you stack my Beat'em Ups 10 code, you'll get 35% off. It's crazy out there on satisfy.com. Links down below. I don't even know where to begin. I guess to start with just the product itself is something I've always believed in. Ever since the Switch launched and I was given a Satisfy grip, it's never left my console. It turns the Switch into a console that's actually comfortable to hold. Can you believe it? In fact, I loved it so much, I ended up working with Satisfy to create my own beat em up Satisfy limited edition grip, which is now sold out. So Satisfy made this new version of the grip, which is awesome because it not only works with the OLED, but the previous models of the Switch as well, but they only released it in two colors on launch, white and mine, until now. You'll be happy to know if you've been holding out the tropical editions of the Satisfy Grip are back in this new version of the OLED Grip and banana back in black. We also have the black version, which I know a lot of you have been waiting for because that combo just looks way too cool. Oh, that is sleek, even on the back. Tropical, black, and elite bundles are all now back in stock. Please 
click that link down below. Use code BEATEMUPS10, get 10% off, support me, support Satisfy, and um, support yourself. It felt like I was about to say something else and I really had nowhere else to go with it. I would just appreciate it. Okay, love you guys. Back to the video. So I guess the first and main question is just why did we move again? Mm -hmm. And why did we want to leave Texas? Mm -hmm. Go on. I was going where I wanted you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, besides the obvious reasons that I feel like anybody wants to leave at the moment, it's just not... <sighs> There's a shorter list why we liked it. Okay, but yeah. That's a good I, idea. I can't think this of This is why we but... liked Texas. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I actually... I'm you can't not, think of I'm anything? not playing. No. I was actually no. going to... I think towards the end, we were very, very done with it because it's almost as if the second we decided we were moving, things got progressively worse. And all of the things that we already hated about it were exacerbated just tenfold like the week before we left. And I was like, I, I, I can't. To clarify, if, if you live in Texas and you love Texas, I mean, maybe if you live in Austin, um, but if you yeah. love Texas, this is just how... We... I don't think people that this doesn't apply to are going to be offended by it because I feel like they have the exact same sentiment about it. We're skirting a lot of lines and we're not really saying what we want to say. That's because it's it's a really tough conversation to have. I think the easiest way of just putting it is just we felt like we didn't belong in Texas. Our ideals do not align with the general ideals of the South in general. But there's more to it than that, too. There's, I mean, we hated the heat. Like right now, it's a hundred degree days in Texas. We just looked at the weather map. Mm -hmm. It's like 101 today, 105 well, tomorrow, that, 100 a week. That's normal for June. We were there in April and May, and April and May it was in the hundreds, which but, is... But even right now, here in PA, it was 79, yeah. sunny and, and yeah. nice breeze. The weather is like beautiful. There's a, actually feels like there's a season here. Yeah feels like we're in summer, not like a desert. On yeah. top of that, we weren't in a good place in general. Long story short on that, when we bought that house, it was a fantastic deal. We couldn't believe we could afford that house. Yeah. We found out pretty quickly it's because it's in the it was in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it was literally like the last stop on the way out of Dallas-Fort Worth yeah. before it became desolate nothing. And yeah. the only reason we moved down there was to be close to Kim's family. Mm -hmm. And then Kim's family weren't there anymore. So we were just stuck down there with Kim, me, and her mom. No one else, nothing we enjoyed doing, nothing that we liked doing. There was nothing to do. We immediately regretted where we moved. Within like six months, I we regretted where we moved. I would say sooner than that, because anytime we'd have to leave the house, it was minimum 20 minutes to get to the thing, never mind coming back. But the traffic yeah. just by our house was nuts. So we stopped doing anything. Yeah. We became hermits. We, we lived home. at home. I lived in my office upstairs my dark yeah. dank office with no, with windows. no windows we didn't leave the house for literally wow. a year and a half we were getting super depressed so yeah, you know we we came to too many games yeah. here in pa we had a whole weekend here we met some fantastic people we wanted to be closer to them we loved the weather we loved mm. the scenery everything was green everything was blooming we started looking at houses flashback uh, so we've been looking at houses. We looked at two in Yardley. The last one we saw, yeah, the first one we saw was really pretty in the downstairs area. Like really pretty. <laughs> With... Which sounds not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like it here. It's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Um, so we are at the house. We're waiting for our realtor to get here to let us in, but the outside is really cute. Um, yeah, I don't want to film this in case we'd like it, but the street is really nice. Mm -hmm. Apparently the area trees. is really nice. What is this, Kim? Like house seven that we've seen? So I think, yeah. I think we're getting up there to the point where we could probably comfortably start making decisions. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> End of flashback. God, I don't know how much longer I want this video to be another there's so many reasons we wanted to move uh, not just what we immediately got into but my old studio I very much outgrew it Kim with her craft room too Kim was in a tiny bedroom and during our time in that house her Etsy started blowing up and expanding 
and she didn't have room to do her crafts anymore. No, and every wall had a door on it. It's very annoying. When you try to convert a bedroom, yes. your entire room is going to be doors. You have no clean wall to do anything. She had a door coming into the room, a door that led to a bathroom, and, a door and then that a door that led to a, that led to a closet wardrobe. And so then a window. So there was nowhere to one put wall. desks. <laughs> it was a small room. Nowhere to one put wall. desks, nowhere to put crafting tables, and then... For me, I was up in a pretty, a decent sized room yeah, with no windows, big, but, but I was trying to fit my game room with a set, my streaming room with a set. All of your filming equipment. Every time I'd want to film a, a video, like I'd want to, like anything, I'd have to put the lights away, bring mm -hmm. them back out so I wasn't tripping on them. If I yeah. wanted to make a video at a desk, I had to bring the desk out of the closet and set the desk back up again. Yeah, that was horrible. And when I'm filming every single day, it's just there wasn't enough room. I outgrew that room as well. I needed an actual studio, not a bedroom. Uh, okay, so this is the basement. The studio that I'm gonna turn it into, it's gonna take some imagination. So here, I've ordered shelves already, but from here all the way to here, make it just all Nintendo Switch. Then through here, we have the editing station. I already did one stream here playing Mario Strikers last night. And then this, I'm, I'm thinking putting another computer here. I think it'd be really cute if Kim could edit with me sometimes or play games or just have a second editing station. This is my brand new G Fuel fridge. I which, was gonna ask you about that. Which arrived yesterday and I set it up last night and put G Fuel in it. And within 20, not 12 hours, it froze up, froze all the cans and they started exploding. So now I'm having to do damage control and defrost it. Then I'm really happy about this. Yeah, you finally get to actually have them in I your room. I finally get my glass cases back. The last house that we had, I tried putting them in an office that was way too echoey to film in. So I never used the office and these sat there for a year and a half and I never saw them again. This is the gaming area where I'll be playing my games and I'll probably shoot videos here because I do a lot of like couch stuff sometimes. No, that's actually pretty cool. So now my entire gaming life is condensed to the basement and then the rest of the house can just be a house, which is amazing for my mental health because I don't, I, and it's so much easier to separate it now. Like walk down to the basement, I am working or playing games. I go upstairs and I'm just living my life. So it all just kind of made sense. And when we mentioned to Kim's mom that we were thinking about it, Kim's mom was like, well, I want to go. Yes. I don't want to be here either. Can I move with you guys? Yeah, she's so never liked it in Texas. Three of us yeah. packed up a 26 foot truck, a 15 foot truck and Kim's Jeep. And we all drove here independently. And that was an absolute nightmare that ended with multiple mental breakdowns and I'll, i want to talk about that in detail so i'm going to do it on our podcast we're going to do it oh, okay. on the podcast the nintendo podcast i want to keep this positive okay. and happy because we're here <laughs> yeah. and it's been great we have a local coffee shop around the corner mm. which i never thought i would say yeah we have everything is like a minute drive away yeah there's one like of, hardly any fast food here as well one of our favorite donut and coffee shops is five minutes in the not two minutes in the other direction yeah. There's a walking trail literally across the street. Yeah. Uh, it's just gorgeous. going and you be going as well uh, when we were first pulling in here we had to go into like the industrial area we were like a bunch of <laughs> mountains of steel there's the coffee shop under there somewhere oh, watch out there's a lady well the lady has to watch out for me because i'm oh. reversing oh okay well she's looking around so i don't think she knows where she's going but that ended up being a really cute vibe yeah and the food was really good too i don't know what would have come first the steel area and then they were like let's put in a coffee shop but i guess we'll make it steel themed or yeah. if that was kind of like always the plan I, well that i don't know but it was really good that's actually some of the best coffee i've had oh really and i was saying to kim i can't believe that we get to do stuff like this now yeah. these cute little places <laughs> these coffee shops like these experiences do you know how far we would have had to drive for a cute coffee shop in texas well that's it getting to do them now and we're not on vacation, we're near the house, is it's surreal. Very, it's very odd. It's so weird. 
I feel like if you've been watching my channel for the last nine years, it's been nine years, yeah. you've, you've moved with me a lot. And very recently in the last five years, you've moved with Kim and I a lot. Is it this fourth one? Yeah. 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 So Kim, <laughs> Kim has moved with me and us on this channel four times now. Wow. So I, I know it seems crazy and I know it's like, wow, you moved already. It's been a year and a half. And people were like getting weirdly upset about that. They were like, already? Already? I don't understand that logic. I know it's jarring because we had bought a house. I know when, like we were renting before, which is like, you're always moving when you're renting. That's just yeah. rent life. But with the housing market being what it is, you pretty much stand to make money on well, a house. Well, that's another thing, yeah. And I know it's jarring so... because we bought a house, but uh, without going into it too much, the housing market blew up. We made a lot of money on that house. Um, there wasn't really anything we stood to lose by moving, which I think is what made the decision no. easier. We gained everything by doing this. Yeah, so. and I can't stress enough that the reason why we wanted to do this mostly is because we were not happy. We had we had fallen into a fairly dark place mentally both of us mm -hmm. were not doing well like kim and i fantastic our marriage has become stronger and better yeah. and more beautiful every single day and like i love you so freaking much and we've never had a problem no but separately but everything mentally, around that we were both well, suffering that's the other thing. We and became degrading so reliant on each other for we only had each that's other. All we had that was positive. We only had that's each it. other. We never left the house. We, we never saw anyone. Very you were in a cramped, yeah. tiny bedroom. Yeah. I was in a bedroom with no windows, and that was our life for a year and a half. Yeah. Literally, we couldn't go and do anything because nothing. Yeah. We were depressed, and we didn't want to be those people that sat around saying, "Well, I wish we could move. Well, I wish yeah. we could make the change." When we realized we stood to make money off the house, and we could move anywhere in the country we wanted, we picked somewhere we thought would make us happy, mm -hmm. and we moved there. And yeah. the funny thing is, while the drive was a nightmare, we finally got to Pennsylvania, and the sign literally says, "Pursue your happiness." Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't no, know I didn't that either. was like the state saying. And I saw that, and I almost cried. <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god." That's why we're doing this. Yeah. But a big question you guys might have, how do the cats like the new house? <laughs> they, they were the thing that I was so most good. worried about and they behaved better than the people. And they love it here. Look how Big bees. He's oh, a flat cat. Bing. Hello. I mean, they've, <laughs> they've been loving it. I know they seem really relaxed right now. But they've been running around the house, Hi, upstairs, downstairs, <laughs> exploring. Hi, oh, they're just so happy. They're so happy. There's so much more light coming into the oh, house yeah. than there was in the old house. They had one oh. crappy window that they would lay in during the day because of the way that the house was positioned. The sun only came into our well, house it, for like an hour. It wasn't just that. We had no windows on the entire left side of the house. So they have sun patches here. They have windows with wind blowing through them. They have flowers to sniff. Yes, the cats are very happy and very healthy. And they yeah. already are glad to be out of Texas. Yeah. They say too hot, too hairy, too, too hot. Too hot, no squirrels, nothing to sniff. Well, you wanna go get some coffee? 